The two-day journey from Nairobi to France brought us to Toulouse, France's fourth largest city that is home to the aircraft industry. This is where Airbus, the company behind the Airbus A350 model, is headquartered. The purpose of the visit being the culmination of 20 months of preparations between Airbus and Ethiopian Airlines for the purchase on lease of the Airbus A350 plane. The aircraft, boasting of not only being made of light, environmentally friendly composite material, but that it is also fuel efficient and has less noise pollution during takeoff and landing. It is an aircraft that promises to lower operating costs. That alone, from an environmental perspective, and NOx savings and fuel savings, will save the, the airline in the region of $2 million per year compared to the first generation. Trent engines. Homegrown African carriers are only 20% of the market share. So the question is not a competition between us and among us, but uh, it's a question of all of us put together, put together our strengths and our resources, synergize and maximize our market share. We have to make it at least 50%. The handing over event being attended by journalists from all over the world marked the beginning of a long-term relationship between Airbus and Ethiopian Airlines who have dominated the African skylines for seven decades now. We fly to four gateways in China, uh, Beijing daily non-stop, uh, Shanghai daily non-stop, uh, Guangzhou daily non-stop, Hong Kong. Mm. So these are routes uh, with a density of uh, demand for the A350 and the A350 can uh, fly direct to these points and a little bit further. We see that while the installed base is still relatively low, the growth potential in the coming years is enormous. So it's important for us to increase our footprint in Africa. The journey from Toulouse began at quarter to three on Wednesday morning with a flight expected to take eight hours. It's way past midnight here in Toulouse, France and we are on board the Airbus 350. We are on the business class deck right now and the first time voyagers are just getting acclimatized to this aircraft, one that boasts of being more spacious than any other in the fleet owned by the Ethiopian Airlines. Globally, there are 24 Airbus A350 planes in operation, Ethiopian Airlines having ordered 13 more such planes to boost its long-range fleet that will serve destinations in the Middle East, Europe, Asia and the Americas. At six minutes to touchdown, passengers on board broke into a celebratory mood to mark the arrival of the Airbus into the African airspace. At 10 a.m., we touched down to a vibrant reception at the Bole International Airport with the Ethiopian president Mulatu Teshome at hand to receive Africa's first Airbus aircraft. After flying for more than five hours non-stop from Toulouse, France, this Airbus 350 has just completed its maiden trip into Africa by landing here in Ethiopia. This aircraft promising to improve the way Africa does business with the rest of the world. Bridget, Ghana, NTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.